So better late than never, as they say, I guess, as you can see on the screen, we now officially have the Copenhagen stickers. They are announced. They have been released. They are out. You can now go and get them yourselves here. This screenshot from Osni of obviously the CS2 game where you can get those stickers for uh, 95 euro. It looks like 0.95 euro. I don't know, a dollar, whatever. Um, eventually, these stickers are very, very likely to be going on sale for 25 cents. Historically, they always have. But for now, you can get capsules for a dollar. You can get these stickers on the market. They are out they are about and now we can look at them we can see them in their final release form obviously the leaks we've gotten from the game files over the past couple weeks uh are pretty close to what we ended up receiving but there actually have been some changes and overall it seems like the community is not receiving the copenhagen stickers that well but in this video today we're going to be going over the copenhagen stickers showing them off to you guys giving some of my thoughts and opinions and talking about what this means for many things going forward in the future but also over the next couple weeks we're going to be going very very in depth to the copenhagen stickers themselves the copenhagen market themselves and how it affects the broader CS2 market. So if that's something you're interested in, you're definitely in the right place. And of course, first, let me say real quick, if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. And my trade link is going to be down there as well. Uh, maybe you guys want to make a trade for, you know, one of the items in my inventory changing all the time, but everything in my inventory pretty much is for sale for the right price. Um, and yeah, we're buying almost anything and everything. We can get a deal done. We can get you guys, uh, uh, cashed out safely, quickly, efficiently, all that good stuff. And of course, you're helping support me, my channel, and my content. With that being said, let's get right into this. So we first need to take a look at the three different capsules we have here. I know this page is kind of cut off. It's kind of weird. But um, first up, the Legends capsule, which, interestingly enough, has exactly zero unique borderless stickers. We have Team Spirit, Phase, Vitality, Navi, Mouse, Virtus Pro, G2, and Complexity, all which already have previous borderless sticker iterations in the game this makes the legend capsule the least investable capsule in my opinion now it does have a couple of really banger stickers you know verge pro sticker pretty cool only has one other sticker uh mouse always a fan favorite uh, has two other stickers now at this point though and team spirit especially coming into this tournament with the hype and fanfare that donk has surrounding him and and team spirit just has in general um seems like another good one as well and again if these stickers were unique or interesting in a lot of ways which I don't really think they are, and I don't think a lot of other people think they would. They are either. The Legends capsule would actually be very, very badass because there's so many cool teams, so many big organizations, so many popular teams in it. But uh, there's also, hey, FaZe already has three other borderless stickers. Vitality, Navi, G2, they already have three other borderless stickers. This capsule is not going to do it for me. This one seems the least investable, despite um, it appearing really, really good at first glance. Then we have the Challengers capsule, um, which is looking like it has one single unique borderless sticker uh that being saw eternal fire ents gl cloud nine apex furia and heroic all already have um other borderless stickers but this uh capsule does have perhaps the best sticker in the entire copenhagen collection that being that furia hollow in it so that's something to kind of keep in mind in mind there um but then of course finally we get to this contenders capsule i'm going to click on this so maybe you guys can see it a little bit better i don't know every picture just is going to have it be cut off okay i don't know why i can't show it to you guys clearly but i'll read it to you it's got pain and Imperial, um, Legacy, Lin Vision, Amcall, uh, Mongols, Ecstatic, and Koi. So here in this capsule, we have one, two, three, four, five out of eight of these stickers being unique borderless stickers. And it currently has the most expensive hollow in the entire Copenhagen set in it right now, that being Lin Vision. Um, so to me, this one is the clear and cut winner. I know in Paris, it was kind of um, hard to tell which capsule is exactly going to be the best long-term investment or anything like that, or the most desirable or most investable. But so far for me, for my money, for my taste, um, this is the clear winner from the Copenhagen collection so far being that contenders capsule, um, just because it has five unique borderless stickers in it and again if we're going to keep getting borderless stickers uh and borderless capsules and stuff all the time the ones that are unique those are going to be the winners in the long run and that doesn't mean that contenders are is always going to have five um unique borderless stickers because obviously each time a new borderless major comes out that's going to change but for now this one has the best shot because the other ones have one and zero borderless uh unique stickers in it so um this really seems to be the place to go and it has the biggest not only does it have the most unique um stickers in it but also has the biggest chase sticker in it as well hey contenders is a clear winner for me 
Now, what we are seeing so far in the markets, obviously, this is very, very early days. These stickers have only been out for a couple of hours at the time that I'm recording this. Um, these are the most expensive stickers in the set so far. Um, we can kind of take a look at what, what these look like. We'll look at like, I don't know, the most, like the top 10. Um, at least we have Donk, the Donk Gold right now going for $385, which is just absolutely insane. We have the Fallen Gold. We have the Z4KR. I don't know how you say this guy's name, um, but that is a very, very cool sticker. I know um, in the Chinese Twitter sphere, um, people are saying this is going to be a very, very popular sticker in China. Um, we have these Iwu Gold, the Monacy Gold, Starry Gold, um, Tessis Gold, Hobbit Gold. Uh, we have the Yuri Gold, Nico Gold, Kakanito Gold, um, the G Gold, and then the Lin Vision Sticker Gold itself uh, being $69.52 and the Rops Gold there as well. Um, and then as far as just the uh, team stickers. I want to take a look at what these actually look like so you guys can see them now in their final form. Um, here's all the golds, which again, are, people are saying they don't really like that much. I'm not a huge fan. I think they're kind of meh, whatever. Um, I don't know. Um, but then we get into the hollows. And right now, this Lin Vision hollow is by far and away the most expensive hollow in the Copenhagen set. This really seems one that people are flocking towards and demand is flocking towards at least early on. Obviously, this could change. But right now, that Lin Vision hollow, here's what it looks like. $27.14 on that bad boy. Um, we have the Cloud9 Hollow Cloud9. Even though this Cloud9 sticker doesn't look that great, in my opinion, um, at least the Hollow effect, you know, I'd much rather have the uh, Antwerp C9 Hollow. Still Cloud9, good looking sticker. It's blue. It has a big fan base, a uh, dedicated fan base. Cloud9 stickers always seem to perform well. Um, we have the Furia Hollow there. We have the Koi um, at 1249. We have Team Spirit at 1123. Mouse Virtus Pro. There's what it's looking like. Vitality. Um, and then you'll notice we have a lot of the um, unique borderless stickers kind of down low. And this is where I think some interesting investment opportunities might actually arise. We have Saw down here at $4.39. We have Ecstatic at $4.15. We have Legacy at $3.10. We have Amcall down at $2.64. So we have some unique uh, stickers that are borderless to the Copenhagen set at $2.00. 64 cents at three dollars and ten cents these are some of the ones that i would be keeping my eyes on now i know that obviously lin vision is unique koi is unique but these prices are too expensive lin vision hollow is not a good investment at least in my opinion at 27 dollars koi probably not a great investment at 12 dollars but could legacy be a good investment at three dollars maybe not you know i'd still like to get it cheaper than that two dollars one dollar whatever but it could be a good investment at three dollars and am called 264 i don't know that might be an interesting opportunity there i know people are going to be making mcdonald's fries crafts and everything like that with am called but um again overall i think that these stickers are a pretty big disappointment um not only do we not have very many unique borderless stickers just in general in this set we have a lot of borderless stickers that we already have in the game i think overall the hollow effects are not very cool, look pretty uninteresting, look pretty lame. Uh, and it does seem like once again, at least so far from what we're seeing from the prices, these are maybe going to be overinvested and just overinflated uh, and have some kind of weird prices again. Um, I know the community reaction so far has been stuff like this. How did we go from easily the best glitters Valve has ever made with depth and interesting feature pre-update to these boring flat dog shit glitters on release? We have the go himself simple saying, weird stickers. Again, many people out there are just seem not very happy with the Copenhagen stickers, despite the fact that people really loved Stockholm and Antwerp and Paris and loved how they looked and thought they were so clean and cool. And that's why we had been clamoring for um, borderless stickers for so long. But now that we're getting borderless stickers so much, obviously we're looking for something different. Valve tried to deliver something different, but um, this doesn't really seem what the community wanted. You know, the community didn't want different borderless stickers. They wanted bordered stickers. Um, and these really seem like a downgrade from Paris and Antwerp and Stockholm. Again, I, I will say that I do believe Copenhagen is the worst of the modern borderless sticker collections, um, and I don't really think it's all that close. So, uh, Nalo tweeted out, he said, guys, just wait for the release. The stickers aren't finished because a lot of people were saying, hey, um, you know, these aren't even the official release yet. Wait till you see what Valve is cooking up. Um, and he says they had to make them even worse after and before. So here's what the Gamer Legion sticker looked like before um, when it was still in the game files. And now this is what the Gamer Legion sticker looks like on the official release, which, um, yes, that is definitely a downgrade if you ask me. Uh, and it's just kind of weird. People were obviously not expecting this. He does say, however, that the glitters look great and the new glitter effect is sick. And I do think that that looks pretty Pretty sick um, but again obviously being a CS investor glitters I don't really care about them they're too cheap they're gonna have too high of quantity they can go up over time but um, I'm just not really that uh, interested in glitters and uh, again we've already seen glitters in Antwerp and Paris as well um, so even glitters are gonna get to a point where they're probably uh, you know a little bit oversaturated at this point as well so Nalo said okay he's looked at all the capsules and each capsule has at least one saving grace Furia VP and Lin Vision most of these hollows are horrendous and look like papers when applied mostly only 
only look good in the inspects. Glitters look great, look great, and the tournament hollow is unironically top five. He said, generally speaking, I would call most of this year a skip, meaning don't invest, unless you can get stupendously cheap prices on the standout hollows. I see no reason to buy capsules from this year unless nobody buys them and supplies low, which won't happen. So again, he is saying he is recommending to not invest in the hollows and not invest in the capitals and probably just not invest in Copenhagen at all. Um, because again, he says, yeah, if you can get Lynn, Fury, or VP cheap, which you're not going to be able to do that. Um, there should be no reason to prefer 99% of these stickers over from previous year's borderless. Uh, Gamer Legion Paris, for example, absolutely clears Gamer Legion Copenhagen, which I completely agree with. That's what I've already said in this video so far. I expect to dip on previous borderless years from FOMO normies, but nothing long term. What about borderless stickers? Yeah, so Saw, Legacy, Amcall, Exotic, and Koi barely count because Mavistar um, already has one technically. Out of all these, the only one that is even half decent is Koi, and then Legacy is just ever so slightly not terrible. <laughs> Before I get Cope comments, just realize that I don't have major holdings in any other borderless stickers. I'm an investment channel, so I don't invest myself due to conflict of interest. Fundamentally, these stickers have a big, big issue holding them back. Most of them only have the good hollow effect on their borders and the bad hollow effect that is nearly indistinguishable from paper sticker on the innards. That's why Lynn and Furia look so much better, for example. Um, this year would remind me of Antwerp, where a handful of stickers were much better than the rest, but even the rest of Antwerp stickers were fantastic compared to Copenhagen. Um, so yeah, there's my breakdown. The autographs are mostly terrible. And that's the other thing as well. Again, now that Valve has done away with kind of these designer or special um, autograph stickers, autographs look pretty shit as well. So I don't like the stickers themselves. I don't like the hollows. I don't like the autographs. So overall, Copenhagen just seems like kind of a disaster to me. Uh, and it really just kind of makes me very, very interested and curious to see what the heck they're going to do for Shanghai because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think the community overall is going to be very happy with this. Um, here is another thing he says. This change is odd. The black and silver isn't terrible on some, but on others, it's pretty rough. Again, does this look like a good gold autograph? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan. Uh, and then uh, he said, so far, uh, we are seeing no major crashes since the release of Copenhagen stickers. It's still early and this update was released later. So we'll see when the other regions wake up, but some stickers have increased in price. This is usually a decent sign that Copenhagen is an inferior good. Of course, this is just based on historical cases. Paris was really weird uh, and a lot of unprecedented things happened. So you never know, just some early analysis and he's going to report back if things change. Um, here he says, bro i was this guy says i was the biggest navi hater since i was born but now i'm the number one fan best three stickers we got this major navi hollow being number one koi hollow being number two apex hollow being number three and he said the rest are dog shit so again another person saying hey there's a couple good stickers in the set but a lot of them are dog shit this really does seem to be the consistent community opinion i did not mean to drag that uh off uh and then here is the original versus release for the virtus pro stickers and a couple you know just kind of giving you guys an idea of what we saw um with some different stickers and stuff like that again this is a guy who is saying, you know, you can stack stickers together and everything like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. Here they are. You know, we have the Copenhagen stickers out now. It's time to form your opinions. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear if you guys like Copenhagen, love Copenhagen, hate it, don't really care about it. If you're going to invest in it, not invest in it, whatever, I don't know. Again, personally, I uh, am just a Copenhagen hater. I don't know. And you can say it's because I'm biased or blah, 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 whatever. I just don't think they look good. I think they look pretty shit. I think border stickers would have been cool. I think these are not very cool. I think the autographs are boring and uninteresting. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how this is going to affect the market. And like I said, over the next couple of days and weeks, I'm going to be diving into all kinds of different item classes, how they've been affected by the Copenhagen um, release and uh you know, if I'm not going to be investing in Copenhagen, we need to find some other ways to make some money. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. But the premature was video today, guys. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Until then. Peace.